Now we're going to move into the bait preparation for sturgeon fishing. And as you can see, I'm wearing gloves and we've been searching high and low to find just the right glove that has the right feel that we offer through Fish Fighter products. And we're offering a winter glove and a summer glove. And the summer gloves are blue and the winter ones are black. And not only do they help keep your hands warm, but I'm a really, I really believe that you got to use everything to your advantage. And, you know, fish, salmon come thousands of miles back to their home rivers based on, uh, you know, such a small smell, it's, it's not even comprehensible to a human. So I wanna make sure I put all the advantages in my favor, so I always make sure I wear gloves when I'm touching my bait. The other thing I like to do is use fresh bait. A lot of people uh, treat sturgeon as a trash fish, and I don't, and I, I don't like to use smelly old stinky bait. I like the freshest bait I can get, and I go out and fish for it, or I'll try to get it from a market, but I'm really looking for fresh bait. So today we're gonna use some crappie. You can use just about anything. And I'm gonna tell you how I like to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach here behind, and I'm gonna cut down. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it, and this fish I'm gonna make three pieces of bait out of. Go ahead and cut through there. And then in there. Now one of the things that I like to do when I'm in big water is remove the fins so that the bait isn't sitting out there and spinning. And so for that, I like to use scissors. Kind of helps the bait from spinning, especially when you're using like, uh, oh, herring or sardine or uh, smelt. They tend to spin a lot. So as we rigged up this spin glow a little bit earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece of meat right here. And I'm gonna run it through. And you almost always pick up a piece of scale. I make sure it comes off. The problem is, is this bait's gonna to wanna to unhook. One of the ways that we keep the bait on is you can use a small zip tie. I prefer to use surgical tubing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on with a pair of pliers so you can help see. But I take this little piece of surgical tubing and go to the point of the hook right there and just push it on. Now that I've got that piece of surgical tubing, this bait will last for as long as the bait is good and it's not gonna come off the hook. And as you can see, when this is all out in the water and running, we have a nice spin glow here, adding a little bit of an attractant to the bait and it's also helping hold the bait up off the bottom. We showed you just a minute ago using this, the spin glow and now I'm gonna show you a different way to hook. And it's my belief that sturgeon prefer to eat head first. I've done a lot of fishing where we've tied poles with the tail down and we've had way more success head first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hook through the back. And I just like to use regular white thread. You can use magic thread. For some reason, I just have always preferred this. Now I do use magic thread when I'm salmon fishing, but I like a good stout thread here that's gonna tie the fish up the line so that it's gonna stay. I mean, you, many of you that have never been into Hell's Canyon, you know, today this river's flowing about almost 25,000 cubic feet per second. So that's a lot of water. So when this bait's out there, it's going through a lot of violence. You know, it's getting, you know, hammered in the currents and mashed in between rocks. So I really wanna make sure I've done a good job of tying it. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about injecting and there's all kinds of different uh, baits on the market. But when I go to injecting, I'm gonna go ahead and go in the anal vent here or in the back and just start injecting some uh, bait in, sauce. And you know, how much you use is kind of up to you. I like to get quite a bit in here to get off a scent trail. And then one of the things that I've learned over the years is that a lot of these scents that we're using have uh, blood in them and it tends to coagulate. So what I like to do after I've injected my bait, I'm worried about my needle uh, coagulating. So I have another bottle here with soap and water in it and I'll just go ahead and screw my needle on just for a second and just give it a little squirt out here and that cleans the coagulation out of my needle and then I'm ready to go for the next bait. I always keep these on so nobody gets injured by jabbing a needle up through their hand and as you can see we're using the fish fighter tray here 
uh, organizer. It works really good to keep all your baits and scents and scissors and everything organized. On this pole, I've got the uh, pen 330LD, which is a lever drag, and I absolutely love this, but pen stopped making it. So now we've got to go back to the 330GT or the new pen Squall. So now we're going to go ahead and get this bait in the water.